<laughs> All right, Shane, I know you've been dying for this one. Tennessee at Missouri. Missouri's favored by two and a half points. The over-unders at 65. Uh, last Ooh. season, Tennessee beat Missouri 35-12, to 12, but this was the game Connor Basilak, uh, he took over, and from there on he's been the starting quarterback for the Missouri Tigers. Missouri, one of only 11 teams in the country, Shane, that have scored every single time they've been to the red zone. And uh, how about this stat, Shane? Josh Heupel, 11 and five, on the road during his head coaching career, and he's six and one after a loss. So he really knows how to bounce back from defeat. Mm-hmm. So who do you like in the matchup, Shane? Well, that's a pretty good stat there, Mike. You know, mm-hmm. Tennessee needs that. We need <laughs> we need bounce back. So I think that's a good call. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Mike. If you love defense. You better not watch this game. Because <laughs> <laughs> neither team – I'll tell you, Tennessee looked good at times against uh, against Florida, but for the most part, when, when Florida cranked it up, I, they had a tough time stopping them. They're going to have tough time – tough stuff – jeez, I can't even talk, Mike. They're going to have a tough – Man, is this a hard word or what? They're going to have a tough time stopping Mizzou, especially that running game. That's what I'm worried about. I, mm-hmm. I think this is another one that they've they they're just so they are so good at being balanced. They're so good at being efficient. I know I know he had a couple of picks last week, but I'm telling you right now, this a lot of I don't think enough people are talking about Basilak, man. I, I think he's a fantastic quarterback, and he's going to be one of those guys you think back like Drew Locke here in a few years and say, damn, that's right, he did play at Mizzou. Because he is he's getting better every week, it feels like. It feels like this offense is getting better. Now, you go to the other side of the ball. Tennessee lost last week against Florida, but I'm going to tell you right now that was a confidence builder. They went toe-to-toe with the top 25 team. I think that's what this program needed to know that all that – practicing all that stuff they heard in the offseason if they just play by what they're supposed to do they can compete in any game that's just the way Heupel's offense is going to be situated so I expect a high scoring game now I don't know how the quarterback situation is going to go with Tennessee but man there's a lot of chirping and I'm telling you I think these Tennessee volunteers realize what's on the line because there's a lot on the line man I think whoever loses this game doesn't make a bowl so, I think Tennessee knows what's at stake. I think Mizzou knows what – I mean, they're coming out with the hot videos. They're even doing mm-hmm. the, the, the damn uniform, everything. <laughs> they're all – everything's coming out for this game. And I think it's going to be an exciting one to watch. So, this is a game, Mike, I feel like it comes down to the final possession – and, of course, the Tennessee Volunteers <laughs> are going to have it. Give it 35, Missouri. 31. Ooh. I wonder if this has anything to do with you losing your lock of the week <laughs> last week. You're trying to get that it vengeance has, in there. It has everything to do with that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but uh, I'm right there with you, Shane. I've been all week thinking Tennessee's going to win this football game. You got the running back coming out here and talking what they're going to do to the defense. I think uh, Josh Heupel and his team, I don't even think it matters who the starting quarterback is going to be. I think the game plan was going to be run, run, run. And uh, it sounds like Hendon Hooker is going to be good to go in this matchup, which uh, would be a huge boost to Tennessee. I think yep. that that certainly plays in your f- favor. Uh, but I wonder if uh, Missouri, you know, they dig a little deeper here, tired of getting questions from the defense. Uh, how does this Steve Wilkes defense respond? Or is are we at a point where maybe he just has no idea how to uh, – you know, defend against some of these college attacks. I mean, I know there's there's certainly nobody in the NFL running quite what uh, Josh Heupel is is running, right. p- particularly the speed. So that has got to be a huge concern for the Missouri Tigers as well. Uh, I'm starting to get a sense, though, that uh, Tennessee's defense is becoming more break than bend than it has been <laughs> here uh, early in the season, even though those guys are playing out of their minds. I just don't know you know, how deep that unit is. And particularly now we're starting to see offensive line injuries for the Tennessee Vols. Yeah. I don't know, Shane, this just feels like a game where Tennessee Vol Nation expecting the win, confident all week, and then they come out and they lay a damn egg. (laughs) I'm sorry, brother. I got to go the other way Uh. after having it all week. 
Uh, and, and I agree with you. I think the winner of this game goes to a bowl game. I think the loser doesn't. I'm going Missouri 35, Tennessee 24. Jeez, Mike, you crazy. Why do you hate the volunteers so much, huh? <laughs> Uh, I know, I know, Mike. I know, but this is a different coach, man. I, yep. I I look at the coaches we've had, and it feels like the, the bounce back just doesn't exist. But I'm going to tell you one thing about Heupel that he has that some of these coaches that have come through here hasn't, and that is they've got the ear of the, of the players, man. I mean, he's a player's coach, and I think that helps. And I think that's why he has such a good record – when, when they have a loss and bouncing back because when the coach says, hey, man, everything's all right. I've, I've watched some games, man, that – like Sam Pittman, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you watch them do a bad play and it comes over here and you see him, hey, man, it's all right. It's all right. Because most of the time, the last coaches we've had, they got their ass chewed as soon as they got to the sideline. <laughs> That's how you divide a locker room. And I'm telling you, I think this player's coach is exactly what Tennessee needs. And that's why I'm, I'm so confident that we have a bounce back here. Now, I'm probably wrong, but, <laughs> and I'll be the first <laughs> to admit it, that I'm usually wrong. But uh, if that happens, man, it, it, I still think it's going to be a hell of a game no matter what happens here. Oh, yeah.